right, we are behind and behind the scenes in our insectarium back in our grasshopper area. It's in a specialized corner because all of these guys can jump. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Thane, that looks like a walking stick. Well, even an entomologist or a trained naturalist might think that at first, but actually these are called giant jumping sticks. Why? They have those big thunder thighs. They are, in fact, very closely related to the grasshoppers in your yard. Now, this is an adult female who's a mom. She's what's called gravid. She's full of eggs. So she's not a great jumper. But the male, he's a little greener and a lot skinnier, and he's a good jumper. Now, this one is a baby. Our zoo was the first ever to display these animals and the first ever to breed them. The other thing they're famous for are those crazy looking eyes. As you can see, the mouth is on the bottom like a grasshopper, but the eyes are way up on top of a stilt. Scientists believe that might be for sort of mate selection, saying, I'm looking good, how about mating with me? Or also to give them a panoramic view so they can look for predators as well as other leaves to eat. So the next time you come to the zoo, make sure you come to the insectarium. We're one of the only places in the world you can see a giant jumping stick.